Hotep Virgo, welcome to your lovers only reading for the month of December 2020. I am the Cosmic Divine Tarot and uh, Virgo, if you like this reading and you want to go ahead and donate to my channel, then follow the link down in the description box below. That's going to take you over to the Cash App and uh, you can go ahead and drop a sister a couple dollars if you want to, okay? Now, Virgo, this here is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith signs. If it resonates with you, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages, okay? Now, if it doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry about that. Because I'm just going to go ahead and get you on the flip side, okay? Now, Virgo, <clears throat> I'm utilizing the Tarot of Sexual Magic. And I have everything spread on out, and I want to dive right into your reading. Virgo, in the first column, you have the Five of Wands, the Magician, the Fool, and the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> well, this tells me that, Virgo, uh, you have somebody in your life right now, okay? Somebody in your life who is very wrapped up into you. Somebody who is very much in love with you and love making love to you. They love sexing all over your body, okay? However, this person that you have in your life don't know that there is another third party who is interested in you. This third party is somebody who's been watching you and your person have sex with each other, be all up into each other, you know, and they feel really, you know, some type of way about that. Now, with the magician here, this person is about to reveal themselves to you, okay? They're about to reveal themselves to you and they're about to utilize every single thing that they can utilize with you, okay? They're about to utilize the sword, which is speak the truth to you, that they have feelings for you, this third party, okay, that you are unaware of, uh, that you didn't even know this person even uh, had these type of feelings, okay? They're about to tell you the feelings that they have for you, Virgo, okay? This person is also about to pour out their feelings. They're about to tell you the truth and give you a great pouring out of their feelings, Virgo, okay? With the with the cups here, the chalices here. They're about to also want to utilize the wand on you. They want to tell you how they want to make passionate love to you, baby, okay? They want to tell you how they want to just go on ahead and, and I'll hit it very good. Now, Virgo, they also are going to try to utilize the pentacle to go ahead and seduce you to accept the fact that they want you to leave your person okay yeah yeah this person is about to go ahead and make a fool out of their damn self okay they're about to go ahead and be the fool pack up everything they have all them all the elements that they're utilizing okay and tell you exactly how they feel they're about to take the leap towards you virgo okay however uh when they do this you see you here right here, Virgo, with the blue outfit on, okay? This person is going to be coming on just a little bit too damn strong for you, okay? They're going to be going ahead and saying everything. They're going to just tell you everything, and they're going to, you know, just, it's going to be a little bit too much for you to go ahead and bear, Virgo, okay? Because, first of all, you have somebody else, okay? You have somebody else already in your life, but this person don't care about that. This person uh, is coming on to you and they just, with their heart open, their daggone uh, soul is on the line and telling you how they feel. They done bought you flowers and everything. But you turning away because you already have some damn body. Virgo, you're dealing with all the signs here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and... uh. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, okay? Now, in the second column, we have the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Chariot. <laughs> okay, Virgo. 
You turn this person away right here because you already have somebody else and your baby is on the way over to your place right now, okay? They're on their way over to your place. You ain't got time to listen to this fool. Now, when your baby gets to your house, y'all on the couch and y'all having all kind of sex like y'all like to do. Okay, however, this third party is watching you now. They done told you how they feel. They done given and told you uh, everything. They done made the fool. They done took the leap. Okay, they see you with your person and they're having some type of mental conflict about it. They are all up in their head and wanting to do something to your person. Now, here is the uh, Knight of Swords. This person wants to go ahead and uh, get you to submit to what it is that they want to do to you. Virgo, this third party wants to go ahead and have you dominated on the ground, on your knees with them pulling your hair with a whip and spanking that ass. Okay, that's what they want. They want to dominate your ass now. So they're about to come at you full throttle with the daggone chariot here and the knight of wands. Mm. <laughs> Virgo, damn, this person means business. They mean business, baby, okay? They're not playing with you at all, mommy. Not at all, daddy. Okay, you're at the crib right now. Your baby on left and went back home or went to work. This person is going to come at you in your crib or knock on your door. I didn't mean your crib, but, you know, your house, you're in the bed is what I meant to say. You're in the bed and you're a baby on left. And you went, uh, you just in the bed sleep. This person is going to come and knock on your door until you answer that bad boy. When you finally get up with your robe on because you, you booted butt naked in the bed because you and your person just went ahead and had a sex-a-thon all damn night. Okay, and this person watched you do it. Now, uh, you're in the bed naked. This person is knocking on your door. You go ahead and answer the damn door. Okay, Virgo? You went ahead and got up and answered the damn door. Now, what this person is doing here... Now, what happens when you answer the door? This person with the Two of Pentacles comes in and tries to uh, persuade you to be with that. They try to persuade you to leave. They bring you some food, a dish that they uncooked for you, Virgo. And they're trying to get you to uh, to uh, accept their offer. They're trying to get you to accept their offer to be with them, okay? And leave this uh, other person who you're with. But you just tell them no. You tell them how no. Now get your ass out of my damn house. This person then turns their back on you and uh feels some type of way okay they feel like you broke their heart they feel like you just went ahead and betrayed them with the seven of swords here they feel you betrayed them you broke their heart they opened themselves up to you virgo and they just feel like you just stabbed them in the back and tried to kill that ass now here is the queen of swords yeah they uh in their house, this seems like to be a neighbor of yours, okay? They're in their house and they see you out the window with your baby over here. Somebody who you're just not trying to leave. You're just not trying to, you know, give up on your whole relationship. And they just feel really bad about it. They don't let themselves go to let the whole damn house go. Okay, let the whole damn house go, everything messy, and they messy all in their head. They feeling deprived and alone. Okay, that's how they're feeling, deprived and alone. So what they do, Virgo, is uh, when you leave and separate from your baby with the five of uh, pentacles here, yeah, they follow you to the daggone supermarket, okay, to the mall, to wherever it is that you're going out there. And then when they come up on you and you see this person, this is what the hell they do. They go ahead and stick that tongue down your throat, Virgo. Yeah, yeah. They stuck that damn tongue down your throat. They came up there to you, pulled you up to them, and stuck that tongue down your throat. Virgo, they also went ahead and put you up against the damn wall. Okay? 
Yeah, they put you up against the wall with the four or the three of uh, pentacles here. Now, they're trying to make a strong effort to go ahead and have you open up these legs. But Virgo, you're like, nah, you're not doing this. You're not opening up your legs. Now, where the hell y'all at? Where the hell y'all at, Virgo? You're out and about. Where y'all at? Y'all not out where everybody can see your ass, are you? I mean, my goodness, Virgo, what the fuck? Here we got the daggone uh, five of swords. Five of swords. You go ahead and, and, and try to, you know, get this person off of you. Get your ass off of me. The hell is you? Don't the, you know what I'm saying? But this person is pulling your damn clothes off. They pulling your clothes off, Virgo, and you're out and about where everybody can see your asses. But you're trying to fight this boy. However, you're feeling defeated. You're feeling defeated because here we got the daggone four of pentacles. They got you down to your drawers and your bra. Okay? Yeah, they got you down to your drawers and your bra, Virgo. And they're just like, okay, you're just like, oh. You're feeling some type of way about it. You're trying to, you know, get this person off of you. But I'm thinking y'all indoors now. You're indoors now. I don't know how they got you from uh, from out and about. I don't know how they got you from out and about here at the daggone supermarket or the mall to indoors here with your damn clothes off. Pulling your clothes off. Trying to, uh, you know, uh, get you to love them. And you're just trying to fight this person, and then you're being nonchalant about it, like, oh, whatever, whatever, okay, because now, Virgo, we got the damn world. Here is the world, Virgo. This person sees you as their entire world. That's what they've been saying to you. That's what they were saying to you here. They came up talking to you, telling you that you are their world, that they love you, that they want to just be with you, that they just uh, cannot live without you in their life, and they're moving towards you, whatever damn thing they got. Virgo, you wind up giving in to this person <laughs> you wind up giving in to this person okay because they got you booted butt naked on the bed that they made for you full of roses and flowers and everything because they just love you so much okay so i'm thinking they got you outside and then brought you back to their house or followed you back somewhere to your house and then came into your house like this. I don't know, Virgo. Only you know where the heck y'all were because I know you wasn't outside because this is inside right here, but y'all seeing each other outside. Now, here's the daggone king of wands. This person wants to be the king of wands to you. As a matter of fact, they got your clothes off right now and about to show you that they the damn king of wands. That they the king of wands. They are about to show your kitty, your ass who's boss. While you were up there having all types of relationships with your mate, now somebody about to show you the king of wands. Now here's the daggone uh, knight of wands. The night of one. So this person coming in full throttle, like I said. You got the daggone night of swords, the uh the uh chariot right here, and now the night of daggone wands. And this person is a magician too, so what they do to you is going to make you feel really good, Virgo. I mean, you're going to be booty butt naked. They're going to be telling you all kind of things in your ear. They're going to be whispering all types of things in your ear, all their feelings and their emotions. And they buying you things. And you know what I'm saying? That's probably where they took you to a hotel room that was that was like four stars. Some place that was really fancy, okay, that they just wanted to sit down and talk to you. And yet, no. No daggone well that that just wasn't going to be the case, Virgo. Or that wasn't going to be all they wanted to do. But you went ahead and went to the daggone hotel with them anyway. Anyway, this person got you in the car soaring. They got you in the car or they got you feeling like you're riding on cloud nine to the nine, nine, nine. Now you got to keep this damn secret from your baby. You got to keep the secret from your baby that you got this person and you got this person too, okay? This person, your person who loves to lick and, and, and rub and kiss all over your body. And you got the other person that wants you to do it too, okay? Now you got to keep secrets, Virgo. Here 
is the sun right here. Both of these people see you as the sun. Both of these people see you as their one and only. They see you as someone so beautiful and so precious, okay? However, your person cannot really light a match to the third party that you have. This person is so engrossed with you. They're so far. They're gone. They're hooked. Line Sanka. Okay, Virgo. Now here is a dad going, uh, knight, navel of swords. This third party will do anything, including kiss your ass. Got their tongue and everything all up in your ass, Virgo. Okay, they are freak. They are freak, Virgo. And you know they are freak, Virgo, because they're doing all types of things. They want you naked, standing up while they're on their knees and examining all up in your ass. And this is going to have, this is, this is going to make you have to be very strong, Virgo, okay? You're going to have to be very strong because this person plans to rule, dominate, control you. And they want you to get rid of the person who you are with. They are not going to allow or, or stay like this with you, uh, why you got somebody else that you with, okay? So your partner, your baby doesn't know about this person and you haven't told them about this person yet, Virgo, okay? This third party looks like they want to do something to your your person. Your, your third party looks like they want to go ahead and uh, make something happen and wrestle and, you know, do something with your uh, your baby here. Now, this is the last card you got in, in the tarot, okay? But let's go ahead into the moonology. Yeah, you know, Virgo, <laughs> This you got somebody who is really in love with you. I don't know who the heck they are. Somebody who knows uh, where you live at. Somebody who knows where you work at. Something like that. Somebody who knows you online. You may have social media. You're putting up all kind of pictures of you and your person. And this person is looking at you and they're just telling you... Uh, how they uh, feel about you, Virgo. Okay, so it's like, you know, I don't know what you're going to do, baby. Okay? I don't know what you're going to do. But I know that this person is not going to just stay in the dark. You're going to want them to stay in the dark. But, baby, you got the moon and the sun card. Which means that stuff that's in the dark is going to come to the light. Okay? It ain't going to stay in the damn dark. All right? <laughs> It just ain't going to do it. Now, uh, your, your mate going to find out about this person. Because I think they're going to they're gonna make themselves known to your mate that you two are having a damn affair. Well, let me go ahead and get you a moonology card. <laughs> Wake up, family. Come on, y'all. Uh, what messages do we have for, for Virgo? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh... Have faith in your dreams. Waxen crescent moon. So, Virgo, whichever one of them is your dream mate, have faith in that dream of a life with that person. If you feel that the third party cannot pr provide you with the life that you want, your baby, that your baby can, then have faith in the dream that stay with your baby, okay? Stay with your person. What other messages do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, who is this? Uh, prosperity lies ahead. New Moon and Taurus. So one of these people might just be a Taurus, but like I said with the uh, Magician card here, you're dealing with all the signs, okay? You're dealing with all the signs. Dark Mirror. You're dealing with all the signs, and you know, you're going to prosper with the one who you choose. You can't have them, them both, Virgo, okay? You ain't going to be able to go ahead and, and have them both. You're going to have to go ahead and prosper with one of them, okay? Because because the third party is not going to let themselves stay in the damn dark. Or you're not going to let it stay in the dark. You're going to tell your person about this person and uh, you're just going to have to see what happens, okay? Now, this... This strength card could be them uh, fighting each other when they find out about each other. And somebody going to win. 
Okay, your person is not just going to be happy to find out that somebody um, went ahead and, and had their tongue all up your ass. Oh, no, they ain't going to be happy when they find out about that. Okay, they ain't going to be happy when they find out about that at all. Okay, Virgo, let me go ahead and get you a, a dark mirror card. What messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith? All right, Virgo, here is uh, today for tomorrow. Today for tomorrow. So, yeah, baby, you're going to have to go ahead and let this uh, your, your, your person know. You're going to have to go ahead and let your person know, Virgo. Let your person know that uh, you got somebody uh, as a third party and, and uh, you want to end it. Or... Let your person know that you got somebody at the third party who you want to leave them for and uh, end the relationship with them, okay? Today for tomorrow. So you're going to have to do this today so that you can prosper tomorrow with somebody else who you're trying to be in a relationship with, okay? And uh, Virgo, that there is your message and also your choice to do whatever the hell are you going to do, okay? But I'm just letting you know, baby, that I ain't going to stay in the dark, okay? You're going to have to tell somebody. You're going to have to tell your man, tell your woman that you uh, got somebody on the side, okay? And uh, Virgo, if this reading resonates with you, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages. Now, if it doesn't resonate with you, then don't even worry about that. I'm going to get you next time. Yeah, I'm going to get you next time. Virgo, also, if you want to donate to the channel, the link is in the description box below. And I appreciate all the donations that people are giving me so far. <laughs> I appreciate you all, all right? Uh, anyway, peace, love, and light. Hold up, baby.